Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Got a design video today. This house was kind of confusing, right? It, it, it reads to me as a, as a pure function house without much thinking about this traditional design, traditional details. And so you'll see I've tweaked the pediment, I've tweaked the column sizes as usual, I've tweaked the windows. So it's becoming repetitive, guys. I'm, I'm fixing windows, I'm fixing columns and pediments. I'm changing scale and hierarchy and things like that to improve these houses. The garage in this house needed some work, and so we'll talk about that, but I think it helped a lot. Let me know what you think. Okay, guys, so, you know, how do we fix this house? I guess my, my first impression is these windows, and I've, I've, I've talked to you about how modernity you know has windows that lay horizontal okay and so when you have two rectangles like this that lay horizontal it expresses you know width okay and so the, you'll see on ranch style houses you know almost no vertical bars but it's a, a lot of horizontality even things where you'll see you know lines like this that expresses length okay now in the, in a traditional sense you want to express height. And so each of these little window panes should be up and down, not side to side. And so when I look at this, it, you know, not only is, is, is the individual sash kind of laying flat, but look at the, the overall size of the window. It's basically a square. And so again, there's nothing visually that's lifting up. And so all of these windows have this one over one pattern and they're all box-like, and so they end up not expressing this thing properly. The other thing that's interesting in this house is just its overall massing, okay? And when I look at a house like this, I, I oftentimes try to find out kind of where the floor line is, and I'm guessing, right, by the height of these windows that the floor maybe is up in here, something like that. But, but what's curious is, is that the height of this window okay is much higher than the height of that window and so that means maybe that's a bedroom because those windows are really high off the ground and so I, i'm, I'm going to be working on making this a traditional house realize that i'm that i'm kind of trying to find the, the the floor heights and that's especially troublesome over here because either they've got a ton of height in this garage or, you know, these windows are, you know, if that, if that ceiling's there, then these windows are really high. It's kind of weird. And so you'll see, I'm going to take this whole mass here and try to fix it separate from this. Now, this is kind of this idea of subordination hierarchy I've talked about, but I want this to be elevated and, and I don't want it competing with this. And right now this is kind of working like a big ranch because it's just it's just long and sprawling and I'm going to try to break that up. You'll probably know that I'm going to do this already. I'm going to I'm going to put taller windows in here. I'm going to put vertical windows that, you know, that rectangle one for the window is going to be a the rectangle that's pulling up and then I'm going to divide it into divided light windows and each of those little panes should be a rectangle pointing up. So the entablature, right? The whole classical system I'm going to pull down so that I'm going to I'm going to get this roof I'm going to, I'm going to get my you know cornice and I'm going to pull down my freeze and it's probably going to sit right on top of those windows and then of course I'm fixing this right this whole you know triangle needs help and you know a classical not always but a classical pediment is more at this height okay there's no entablature in here so I'm going to introduce a full entablature I'm gonna widen these columns, right? So all the things I'm typically doing, right, I am pulling over and, and trying. And so this was my fix, right, where I have, one, lowered this, and this could even be lowered more, right? I, I would like to see this kind of drop down even more. You can see I was kind of playing with some ceiling heights and some roof heights, but it was up at this level. So I've, I've dropped it down maybe six feet or so, and, and look at the differences in the pediment too. So that pediment is just big. Remember that the, you know, the whole pediment needs to work properly. This little called pork chop ends when they run down like that, especially on a traditional house like this isn't right. It should have eave returns if you're gonna do it but I've kind of fixed that pediment. I did, I did change the front door. I like a single door on, a, on a, a traditional house. 
not this double door. Also, these side lights are, are silly, you know, that there's a, some kind of, you know, you've got double side, double doors and side lights, not really necessary. Shutters, they go on double windows that would never work. Uh, they're not even the right size. And so, you know, and when I say that, I mean that, you know, this shutter traditionally should fit in right there, right? And so it should hang and then be able to fit over top of, you know, half this window. And so these windows, the, these shutters are too tall. So they're also a plank style shutter. That's a traditional house. A plank style shutter belongs on a cottage. Paneled shutter would be more appropriate here. I didn't even do the paneled shutters. And so anyway, what do you guys think? Helped it out a little bit. Got an engaged pilaster back there so that, that little, this little pediment sticks out. Lower this. And then the last thing is, is I don't like this super wide commercial entry. Right? You don't need on a residential house a you know eight foot, ten foot wide walk up to the door. You know, this should be, you know, you'll see that one, I think that maybe you're entering the house this way, but maybe also I'm doing a little uh, drive court here and then you're walking across and then straight up. So that, you know, again, this is the winding path is more of a cottage. This is a traditional house. And so I tried to fix it that way. Okay guys, what'd you think? Fixed it. I think mainly that pediment was just too big. And then putting in an entablature and a and a right size columns is is eighty percent of it. Of course, the windows was the next little bit. Fixing a few of the freeze details, changing that proportion. Hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. I read all the comments. I'm Brent Hull. Thanks for watching.